Hi, so today we're going to be using the Foxwell GT90 diagnostic system on a 2019 Range Rover Evoque and just having a quick look at what it offers and what uh, what you can see on here. So if we go into diagnostics and let's choose Land Rover and let's go through, uh, let's do manual selection, choose the Range Rover Evoque, the year, the diesel engine and let's just wait for it to connect. There we go, let's have a look at diagnostics and let's do a full scan of the vehicle to see what we can talk to. So we're going around all the systems now. I have sped this up just a little bit. As you can see, this car does have a lot of systems fitted to it. It's a fairly well spec model, so there's a lot of things to go through. Okay, almost done now. Right, and that's it. So it looked like it spoke to about 22 different systems on the car. So let's go and have a look at the powertrain control module and see what these five fault codes are. There seem to be quite a few different fault codes scattered around the system. Okay, let's read the codes. It was good, they all seem to be historic, so we should be able to clear those later. So let's go back and have a look at some of the live data. So we click on live data. Takes a little bit of time to load the full live data list. Shouldn't be too much longer. There we go. So do all data. Okay, and let's have a look to see what parameters the uh, the engine's offering us. So we've got quite a list here. So we can see the text or there's, there's an option to graph as well, but we'll just have a look down to the bottom of the list. A long way down. There we go. So back up to the top. I went through those quite quickly, but you can just go back through the video and have a look at those more slowly if you wanted to see everything that's there. So now if we drop back out the live data and drop back to the main list, let's go and have a look at a different system now. Okay, let's go into the body control module. See what fault codes we've got here. Okay, read the codes. Okay, again, the two historic codes, but um, those can just be cleared. What else we've got on the list? Uh, let's go and have a look in where we've got more fault codes. The image processing unit. Let's try this one. Read the codes. Oops, sorry, I clicked on clear codes by mistake. I've got no on that. Let's go to read codes. Okay, oh, another historic one. Can fault, so could have cropped up any time. Let's go back and see what else we've got. Okay, so let's look at the park assist. I saw there's a fault code in there. There it is. Okay, let's go and read the codes. Here we go. Um, ah, an intermittent. So this one's still present. So that's one that probably needs to be looked at. Okay, so let's drop back out now so I can show you some of the, the service functions. Okay, let's go into more functions than special functions. And we can just see the list here of all the different special functions we've got. So it's quite a good list. But let's have a look at the um, let's look at the, the chassis special functions now. It's got a few questions to answer here about the car. So yeah, I'm saying which region we're in. Okay, and there we go. We've got another list of, of special functions here. Quite quite a big list here. So you can scroll through them yourself more quietly. But uh, let's go to the next section okay 
asking me a few more questions about the vehicle. Okay. There we go, right, there we go. And then we've got another list now of functions that are offered. Advanced functions, now we've got some programming. So configure new modules. Just gonna ask, answer a couple more questions about the vehicle. There we go. So, sorry, I went to think about a couple of these questions, but yeah. And it, there we go, it's uh, definitely not a convertible. The, I believe is this one. Not fitted. Okay. It's another good list that you can have a look at there. Okay, well thanks very much for looking at the video and if you've got any questions on the GT90 or other diagnostic products, please give us a shout at gendown.co.uk.